Hello everyone, thank you for choosing to click on this video. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a tremendous day, and today we are going to be doing the Vets Draft. And no, not the people that, you know, do operations on pets and stuff like that. Mm -mm. We're talking about the hockey players that have been around the block. Alright, as per usual, let's randomize the team here and we get the Yotes. Alright, we're heading out to Bizland in the desert with Arizona. So let's see how we do today. I know that... Oh man, it's so annoying that you can't add a 30 second team. Like I know that you have to do 31 teams in this, but it'd be so cool if in NHL 22, if they put the ability to add a new team, like an expansion team, but then do a fantasy draft anyway. All right, I am now taking bets on where we will finish, or sorry, where we will get slotted for the draft. You know, which position are we going to get? Fog of War, turn that off. CPU trades, yeah, trade all you want. That doesn't matter to me. All right, we should be good there. I have to change a few more settings, though. All right, moment of truth. Which spot will we get? I'm going to say 12, just a random number. The first one that came to my mind, really. So let's see if I'm even close. Probably not. I know there was a time there where I was getting pretty close consecutively, but uh, that's not this time. I got pick number eight. So basically, we're going to be drafting players that are 30 and older. So basically, I don't think we're going to be stepping on a whole lot of toes this draft, because for the most part, I feel like they draft relatively young teams. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Patrick Kane, 31. That is prime, and he is elite. So uh, yeah, there we go. There's our first pick. Patrice Bergeron. Ooh, to play with him. Or should I... Oh, Kuznetsov's 28. Never mind. I almost forgot it like, already. <laughs> Happens pretty much every time. Mm, or do I go for a goalie? Or do I take Jeff Petrie? No, I'm going to take Bergeron. If Petrie's still there next round, which he probably will be actually, uh, because it's going to be kind of close together, these picks, then I'll pick him, and then I'm going to debate on maybe taking a goalie already to get that out of the way. Uh, we got Latang here. So maybe I should... Well, I don't know. Petrie's dirty, though. Even in the sim, he did really good for me. So even though he is... Well, actually, he's 87 as well. He's up there, so never mind. I don't feel bad. For some reason, I thought he was 85, but I guess they bumped him for the insane year that he's having, so that's deserved. I really want to take this man's, but his cap hit is out of this world. He's 30 on the dot. You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's take him. Why not? I'm definitely going to have to try to get some league minimum deals later on with, you know, I guess Jumbo Joe and Jason Spezza, people like that. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. I could take Bufflin. He's only making... 700k so i mean that's not bad oh and ekholm's only making 3.7 and he's 86 so yeah i'm definitely taking him and now i'm gonna try taking a goalie probably it dropped off way faster than i expected it to again so we're probably screwed in that regard oh but peron though stop doing this to me all right i'm gonna take him and then <laughs> next round i don't care who's there you could like reinsert ovechkin into this draft and i'm taking a goalie doesn't matter but luckily these two picks are pretty close together, so I don't think it would have made a major difference anyway. Will we get a goalie 84 and up? Yeah, there we go. Hudobin. 34. Yes, sir. And we also have Lundqvist there, who I think redeemed himself last time. I don't know if he re-let me down after that or not, but I'm pretty sure the last time I drafted him, he did good. So I guess I can trust him again now. I'm just going to take Hank and get the goalies done. So yeah, that's that. Goalie situation taken care of. Well, there's a cap save if I've ever seen one. I mean, he is 43, but I mean, it's 800k? Can't really go wrong with that. So, Zidane Ochara, welcome to the desert. You are coming to the Yotes, my dude. All right, we have four defensemen already. I think we only have one line. Yeah, we only have one of each forward. So, that's really not a super ideal place to be, especially considering we're already down to... Oh, boy. This isn't good for us. All right, Eric Stahl. You're going to be our second line centerman. Yo, Zach Hyman, you want to just like be born two years earlier? Thanks. All right. So this is going to be very difficult to stay within the cap. I am just saying that right now. It's it's going to be a mission for sure. But let's take Zook, I suppose. 84. I have 6 million. I, I was scrolling down to see what, you know, my options were in the future and did not look too great. So yeah, that's why I was saying that. But we'll, we'll try to make it work. I'm debating between Kessel and Hornqvist, and strictly just because Hornqvist is making less, I am, I'm gonna pick up Patty Horns. So, yeah, there you go. We're gonna have a stacked defense core, for sure. I'm debating on taking Martinez, but I might just take Kalorn for right now. 83 overall, two-way forward. I know that's not really the best for chemistry, or so I've been told anyway, but let's go ahead and take Killer anyway. Palmieri, so close, dude. So close. There it is. We got Felino. I could also take Bobby Ryan, and we got Jumbo Joe. All right, so we, we're sort of finding 
some gems now, I would say. I mean, I don't know if you really call them gems, but I personally would consider them gems. Bobby Ryan, there you go. You can be a third line sniper, I suppose. We actually still need two more centers, so maybe I'll take Broussard as, you know, like the fourth line center. And then, or he'll be possibly the third line center, and then I'll have Jumbo Joe. Actually, is Jumbo even still here? Oh, he is here. Okay, so I'm gonna take Jumbo right away. And then, yeah, maybe I'll take Broussard, and then we have our centers. We still need two defensemen, which, for some reason, I thought we drafted five, but I suppose I'm wrong. All right, well, that shouldn't be too hard still. All right, let's take Travis Hamannick. 1.2 million, 30 years of age on the dot. Okay, so we basically need a centerman, a right winger, and we actually have some cap to burn, which is very surprising to me. So maybe I should take someone like Shazer. I mean, he's a grinder. I don't know how well that's going to really gel with our team, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, 81 overall. Or what about Brown? Oh, but 5.8. That's a lot. I think we could still make it work, but... I think I want to save a little bit of cap for the other guys as well. So I'm going to take Shazer. Okay, I can take Demirs, and then we have all of our defensemen. He's basically making 4 mil. And then we just need one more centerman. So yeah, I guess let's do that and find ourselves a center. Lars Eller. Or as I like to call him, Leller. I mean... He looks not bad. Two-way and 3.5, which brings us right near the cap. Uh, yeah, let's do it. There we go. Okay, there's our team. We are finito. Let's, I guess, sim the whole draft now and go put this team together and see how they're going to do. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this team. Like, I, I seriously don't know if when players get older, they have... Like, some stamina stat. I also just hit my hand off the table, and that kind of hurt. I'll actually find it pretty funny if we come out of the gate flying. Like, we're just dominating everyone, and then near the end of the year, it's just down. Just an absolute tank. There it is, the summary. I, I don't think we're going to have to worry about any of these other players. I forgot about Marco Dono. For some reason, I feel like he was, like, three and a half stars green in NHL. Who knows what NHL that was now. Like, I guess this would have been on Xbox 360. But um, anyway, let's move forward. I'm very interested to see what our chemistry is going to be like as well. I know it's mostly based on player types, so I don't think it's really going to make a difference between, you know, drafting a team where there's a more wide variety of ages, but I suppose we're going to find out right now. Okay, not, not ideal. Definitely not ideal. What if I move him up? We are just really not getting any good chemistry here. Okay, well, that's still a plus one, so maybe we could do that. That's not going to work. Oh, boy. All right. You know what? Screw chemistry. I don't care. This is good enough. I'll take... I could move Patrick Hornquist up and do that. Don't really want Kane to be on the second line, though. I want him to be with Bergeron and Perron. So if they don't really gel well, then figure it out. You're going to gel well. All right. Chara and Demirs really get along. So I'm going to keep them like that. Carlson, Hamannick, and then Ekholm Petrie. Yeah. Seems good to me. So that's our offense. And then in net, here we go. If I had to guess, I'm going to say 42 wins. Uh, I think we'll make the playoffs. And Patty Kane gets the most points with 81. All right, without further ado, let's get into it here. Let's pop right into the simulation and just... Actually, no, I'm going to go back and double check the lines just to make sure. I'm pretty sure it was everyone I drafted. But I just want to double check that everyone is, in fact, of age. All right, so here we go. I think it should show up there, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Yep, everything looks good so far. Okay. Uh, oh! Shaw's 29. Well, good thing I double-checked. <laughs> there we go. Found a player, so shaws has got to go. How did I not notice that when I was drafting him? I completely forgot that round, apparently. Uh, Marco Dono is certainly not. Okay, we're going to have to sign, like, a free agent or something. Or maybe I'll just make a trade. See if we can find someone to trade Shawser for. Does nobody draft? Oh, there we go. Chase on. Uh, I mean, it's kind of the same player pretty much one overall worse i believe and he's a power forward instead of a grinder i mean yeah i screwed up so regardless let's just do it boom there done all right i'm gonna double check now but we should be good uh, i think i saw a two in there i'm hoping it was 32 all right good we're good and yeah i know we're good here all right defense yes all right good stuff good stuff and then in net, we've got Hudobin, and... All right, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's start. All right, we don't have the strongest start here. Well, that's a, you know, a bit of a comeback. It is only seven games in, though, so I shouldn't really be saying too much yet. Wow. Well, this has gone somewhere I was not expecting it to. Good job, Coyotes. Let's go, Vets. The Jets have fired their coach. 
I think that's not nearly as early as we've seen some coaches get fired. Approaching the trade deadline, and this team is doing well. Love that for us. So let's go to keep our current block. And let's enter the deadline just to see which players are on the block. I know I'm not making any trades, but just to see. Bobrovsky, Suter, Rantanen. Wow, that's surprising. Keith, Toffoli, Getzlav, Patches. All right, so yeah, I'd say the biggest haul there is definitely Rantanen. I have a feeling we're going to get more than, what did I say? Did I say 43? I want to say I said 43 wins, but I think we're going to beat that. So I'm not going to be right in that regard, but maybe I'll be right with Patrick Kane. I guess we'll find out. Well, we're in the playoffs. We got the Golden Knights for round number one. And let's have a look here at the stats just to see what ended up occurring. Bergeron with 88. Let's go, Patrice. What a, what a man. Holy smokes. All right. Well, anyway, we finished second in the division with 103 points. In the entire league, we finished in fifth. Not bad. Patrick Kane did, in fact, finish with 81 points, though. He didn't have the most on the team, but I, you know, at least got the number right. Perron with 57. Isn't that his jersey number? It is. Look at that. All right. Zuccarello with 51. Carlson, 45. Thornton with 45. Let's go, Chumbotron. Good job. How'd our goalies do? I think they must have did all right, no? Better than all right. They exceeded all right. Good job, Tendies. Here's the league. Rask with 40. Vazzy with 39. Black with 37. Hudobin's up there as well. All skaters. We've got, at the very top, Brad Marchand with the Art Raw. Stamkos, 102. And then we've got Sagan, 101. Uh, I see Tarasenko with 50 goals, so he's probably got the Rocket Richard lockdown. Now, will the veteran status help us out in the playoffs, or will they slow down? Let's have a look here and see what happens. I can't even go down any further. Oh, I guess it was just lagging. All right, here we go. Round number one. The Golden Knights, the Arizona Coyotes. How is this one going to go down? This is very interesting. Two blowout games to start. Oh, boy. All right. Oh? Ah, oh, so close. I mean, not really, but I would just like to make you guys feel a little better. San Jose are the Stanley Cup winners. Okay, good for them. Let's go have a look at their team and see what makes them so special. Patrice with a point a game in the playoffs. That guy, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Certified unit. But we need to go check out, oops, wrong one, San Jose. See who the heck they drafted that enabled them to win the Stanley Cup. I, I'd love to know. I need to take notes, clearly. They got John Tavares. They got Victor Hedman, Gallagher, Nita Ryder. They didn't even have a point of game player, by the way. They have Alex Turcott, all right? Joel Farabee, all right? Andreas Janssen, DeBrusque. I mean, I don't get it. Do they have a really good goalie or... I mean, nope. Oh, well, Blackwood, he did really good. Yeah, he got 37 wins, but I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, well, I, they do have a good team. I'll give them that. So, uh, well-deserved on your Stanley Cup, I suppose. You drafted well. What did Turcotte? He ended up 83. Wow, Farabee 84. I mean, yeah, I guess they do have a really good team. So, that's that. I was just kind of trying to compare it to our team, you know? And it's like, I don't know. It's kind of similar, but I guess it is what it is. Whatever. They had a good team. I'll just give them that. There's the trophies for the teams. Now, individual, Marchand, as we know. Hart goes to Stamkos. Hughes with the Norris and the Lady Bane. Kaprizov with the Calder. The Con Smythe goes to Victor Hedman. Who Hudobin, let's go. We won something with the Vesna and the Jennings. Let's go, Dobby. Fire me up. TVR and the Jack Adams goes to Fistrick. Barkov with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay to Steven. And Ovi with the Maurice Rocket Richard. Wow. So he must have had more than 50 goals. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any other draft ideas, down below. And if you could, click the like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I guess, yeah, subscribe. If you're feeling up for it, you can even do it on a trial basis. You could sub. You know, get videos in your feed. And if you end up saying, you know what? No, I don't want those anymore. You could always unsub. You know, so it's worth a shot at least. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.